don't know about you guys, but I don't have a good feeling about this. This is hands down the most intimidating tabs unit I have ever seen. It's like Clint Eastwood made out of Play-Doh, and there's only one of them, which makes it all the more intimidating. I'm thinking we might just need to rush him. If we go with quantity? Yeah, how about we rush all of our heads at his balls? That's a solid strategy. I'm thinking we line up a bunch of headbutters, and then we just run at him. He can't possibly shoot all of us. Oh, oh, oh! What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, the only game where it's socially acceptable to yeet a stick of dynamite at a hobbit. We truly live in a society. So last episode, we took our first look at the Western updates. With the new faction, new units, a new map with a new campaign, gotta say, some of the best stuff to be introduced in a very long time. I, I had a lot of fun with it. I was planning to return probably towards the end of the week, a couple days time, but then you guys told me that somewhere out here in the Wild West are secret units, unlike anything we've seen in tabs before, just waiting to help me break the game. <laughs> so of course I couldn't resist returning to find them. Once again, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole wild goose chase, but once I'm onto something, then we'll find ourselves a ball and chain. We've seen this one already. I, I haven't looked at the Western faction yet. I've only faced off against them, so I don't know what's a secret unit and what's actually part of the regular faction. Interesting that this guy would be secret because he wasn't all that impressive. No, this can't possibly be what I think it is, right? Because a, a Gatling gun would be a huge mistake in tabs. You have got to be kidding me. This is like bringing an Apache helicopter to a knife fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna give my two cents right now. If this thing doesn't overheat or need to be reloaded, then it's hands down gonna be the most overpowered thing in this game. They even gave its operator an absolute dump truck of an ass. I don't really feel like giving this guy a free pass. Let's test him out against a phalanx. They've got shields, they've got numbers. It's gonna be 19 versus one, even though they're both worth about the same amount. I would imagine those shields aren't gonna stop all of the bullets that you're not shooting. Oh, uh, that's not really what I expected from a Gatling gun. Oh, he needs a little time to get it cranking with his stupid noodle arms, but once it's going, it's really going. Okay, well, he took down about half of them before being overwhelmed. Interesting. So he actually does need some frontliners to buy him a little bit of time before he can finally get to mowing everyone down. What do you think would happen if we delayed things a little bit with the ultimate distraction? A few birds. You know, then go to the hardware store, the saloon, play a jaunty tune, you know, woo some cowboy's girl, you know, cause a real scene. I have no doubt that'll buy him enough time to get cranking. I think his main problem is that he's always on the wrong side of the gun. Dude, you're supposed to be on the left side, otherwise you're gonna keep getting that crankshaft in your tank shaft. But what do I know? You're the one gunning down people left and right. Okay, this is more so what I had expected. <laughs> the birds line them up and you knock them down. <laughs> that is so stupidly overpowered. I can't believe that. Okay, so they have like a, a slight drawback, but it really doesn't matter. I feel like people would be pretty upset if I moved on to the campaign and didn't take the time to line up a bunch of cheerleaders behind this guy and see what happens. I don't think he's gonna turn into a bullet tornado, but it'll probably be pretty close. Let's see what happens when you're being morally supported by the world's most gumby looking women. Okay. Yeah, that's a dramatic difference, so it pretty much just turns him into a bullet hose. <laughs> he doesn't go full-blown tornado, but if anything, that's quite a bit more lethal. I gotta try one last fight with this thing, because as we all know, Cupid loves to break siege units. For some reason, the operator wants to start making love to his machine. <laughs> and this guy's gonna take forever to start shooting, so you should be able to get an arrow or two into him, and then... Yep! Yep, that's pretty much what happens. <laughs> It'll never get old. As much as I would love to watch units get gunned down for an entire episode, which, trust me, may be an episode in the future, for now, we're gonna continue with the campaign in a level called Explosive Lasso, where it seems like they've brought all of their dynamite maidens and spotted wobbly horses and teenage mutant ninja cacti. 
<laughs> Still don't really know what the deal with that is. I also don't know how to strategize against any of this. These are some of the weirdest units to fight against. I'm thinking maybe dragons? You would think that you'd be able to torch the dynamite out of their hands and just blow up the entire enemy army, but I don't think the game is quite smart enough for that. <laughs> maybe we can put some samurai? Because, I mean, if samurai and cacti both pluralize without the letter S, then they must be able to fight one another. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm pulling these strategies clean out my butt. Don't judge me. Firework archers are always good. And just like that, we're at an even zero. It was meant to be. I have no doubt that fire will wash away all my problems. No or yes. Okay. This is looking uh, kind of promising, he says, as his units are getting dragged around by a horse. <laughs> oh, maybe not so promising. Man, these guys are so strong. Not only can they run over units with the horse, but they also just insta-kill them with the lasso. It, once the horse is down, they don't seem to really know what they're doing. No, never mind, they still know what they're doing. <laughs> they pull them in and kick them in the head. It really sucks that I can't use special units here. Like, I would love to just stash a Gatling gun in the back and wait for it to wind up. <laughs> but instead, maybe something like Snuffy would work. I don't know if the lasso can fit around that thickness. Probably not. And then we can back him up with a bunch of spam? I would imagine that might do a little something. What are you guys gonna do? Yeah, you're not gonna do anything. That's right. Um, Maybe not? I think the lasso is connecting with Snuffy, but it's just not wrapping around him and he doesn't really care. <laughs> it's like trying to walk a bear on a leash. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? Kick him in the foot? No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> the Wild West was not ready for Snuffy. Next up, we have a level called High Noon. And like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a good feeling about this. This is hands down the most intimidating tabs unit I have ever seen. It's like Clint Eastwood made out of Play-Doh. And there's only one of them, which makes it all the more intimidating. I'm thinking we might just need to rush him. If we go with quantity? Yeah, how about we rush all of our heads at his balls? That's a solid strategy. I'm thinking we line up a bunch of headbutters, and then we just run at him. He can't possibly shoot all of us. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, he's only got a six shooter. We're good, right? We're not good. He's got balls of steel. Oh, he can reload! Jesus, what an emotional roller coaster! Now, I'm not looking to threaten anybody, but I'm just saying that 65% of you watching this video aren't subscribed to this channel, and that's a big mistake, unless you want to get high nooned. Again, I'm not the one threatening, he is. Moving on to a level called Three Bandit Gangs, but what are you willing to bet they have no interest in fighting one another? Uh, clearly, everybody hates me in this town for some reason. And they're barely even a gang! Wait, they're just a bunch of prospectors and misfits and people cosplaying as cat scratch posts. Either way, we're gonna have to try to gun them down without guns. Because they're the ones that get guns. I'm the one stuck with bow and arrows. Maybe I can use skeleton archers? You think fire would be good against a cactus? I know it's filled with water, but at the same time, I feel like it would be pretty good, and we even have enough for a reaper. I don't know how the reaper fares against bullets. Really only one way of finding out. Fingers crossed that the cacti will burn. They don't. Okay, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem because that means that all these skeleton archers are practically useless. I mean, they're burning. They just don't really care all that much. Oh, there you go. You finally went down. Well, it's good to know that their suits are bulletproof or arrowproof at the very least. Please survive. Just just do your best to dodge all the thorns and the pickaxes and the bullets and maybe get the guy in the bowler hat. You, you really want to get him before he reloads. Thank you. <laughs> he evaporated. What was the- oh, there he is. I see. Yeah, he's ornament now. The Reaper might actually pull this off. He's getting real close! Oh, yes! And now you pay the ultimate price. Is that right up the butthole? That might be- oh, it was close. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. We've got a level called All the Bullets, and they really did recruit all the bullets. 
How is that possibly fair? Like, what's the strategy? Humanity has not come up with a strategy against being shot. It's just not a thing. Like, I got $3,500. It, it has to be snuffy, right? I would imagine I can probably cheese him across the line. It's where his feet are, okay? That's, that's perfectly legal. And then, probably quantity? Like, oh. I don't know if hay balers are bulletproof. They might be. They're definitely arrowproof. They might have a similar effect to the cactuses. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, you, you guys got this. They don't got this. Okay, so definitely not bulletproof. Snuffy, I know that it's very entertaining to scratch yourself up against those things, but I need you not to get shot in your giant fuzzy butt. Maybe we can try countering their weapons fire with our weapons fire? Like, the problem is this isn't the exploding cannon. That's a secret unit. This is just regular old cannon, so you gotta make the shot count. <laughs> it's like throwing a bowling ball at somebody. Oh, technically I could put explosives in there. Bomb throwers might do something. I also don't really know about the harpooner. What are the odds you could pull down these guys in the front? Because I'm afraid that we're gonna unload every, watch actually, we're gonna unload everything on the cactuses or just miss entirely and then get gunned down right away. Okay, I know we tested this in the last episode and that was like less than 24 hours ago for me. So there's really no excuse, but can the samurai deflect bullets that are coming straight down at it? I can't remember, I don't think it can. At the very least, I can afford a lot of them, and the Gatling guns shouldn't be able to do anything against them, hopefully, so as long as they don't all get pelted from the sky, this is just the dumbest thing ever. You see, the problem is, I really do try to have fun with these levels. You know, I wanna mess around, I wanna switch things up, I wanna be entertaining, but if they're gonna try hard, then I'm just gonna have to try hard. We're gonna have to put on the big boy pants and be a bit of a sweat lord. I'm thinking we put down a couple of hobbits in the front. They're gonna draw out the entire initial volley of gunfire. They'll sacrifice themselves like the little fuzzy footed martyrs that they are. And then we'll come riding in on horseback like the absolute champions that we need to be and then crush them under wobbly hoof. I have no doubt that the wobbly horses can't be hit by your silly bullet. That's right. That's what you get. This is really weird. I think we fell into some kind of secret level. Like, after all the bullets, there's supposed to be a level called Three Rangers, but for some reason, it's still locked to me. So that can't be where we are. I mean, there are three rangers here, but I, I, I don't know, I just don't get it. There's also a bunch of prospectors and dynamite maidens and nothing all that crazy. I'm just gonna drop down a Da Vinci tank and hope for the best, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> da Vinci, you planned for this stuff, right? You wouldn't have made some kind of masterpiece of war just to be beaten by a pea shooter, or you would. Maybe that's why this thing doesn't exist. You know what? I'm gonna run that again. I think that was entirely luck. I wanna give the tank a chance because it looks like they have a really hard time hitting him in there while he's whipping around like a Beyblade. Sometimes they get lucky and sometimes they don't. It has to be that the samurai is the answer, right? Because if we got a couple of McCrees in the back and they're just six shootering everybody, then what are we gonna do? Everybody's just gonna die instantly. So we have to try to deflect. It's really the only unit in the game that can defend against bullets, which seems like a huge oversight. Like with the Western faction, you would think each faction would have some ability to defend themselves. Maybe we can put some firework archers in the back. If they could be defended by the samurai, that'd be pretty sweet. Hopefully the samurai will deflect all the bullets in the front, and then the people in the back will be able to survive and flourish? Kind of? Not really. Oh no. It looks like they shoot too many bullets. They can deflect like the first two, maybe three, but then all of the others are overkill. So there's just no strategy against bullets in this game. We can make the prospectors go for a ride, which is hilarious because they don't have any bum on their pants, but at the same time, I would like to win. I get the feeling this is gonna be the level where I get stuck because there's just no good answer. I, I really don't have any one size fit all solution. I, I just gotta toss down like a little bit of everything and then Hope that something works in all reality. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just spamming random units. There you go. 
<laughs> Let's see how that goes. The prospectors are so deceivingly devastating. Every time they swing that pickaxe, they can kill a couple of units pretty easily. And just, oh, there's, there's no getting to these guys. I'm not even touching them. I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to call in all the fan favorites on this one. We're gonna go with Snuffy in the front. We're gonna back him up with a wobbly horse. And then we're gonna use the Shire on the sides. <laughs> I think that is as good as it's gonna get. If that doesn't work, I'm screwed. Okay, you ready for this, Rangers? Because you're about to get flipped like an omelet. <gasps> we are coming for you. Snuffy don't care about no bullets, just you wait. I have full faith in him to beeline his way towards the important guys. Step on him. Step on him, Stuffy. Come on. No. What do you mean? He got poached like an egg. Okay, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I may have gotten as far as I can in this campaign. I have no idea how to beat this level. Maybe you guys have some recommendations or some ideas for stuff that you'd like to see in the sandbox, which I'll probably do more of next episode. Be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know the last episode did really well. It's the reason I returned so soon. Maybe I'll return again tomorrow if this video does the same. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.